is to expose the food. You can see the, this patient is uh, uh, having a uh, deep, uh, have a problem with the food. So uh, the first thing that has to be done is to expose both the feet and then examine. So on inspection, what we see, what do we see here? So you can, it's evident that there is a uh, dark patch on the side, left second toe. You can see the skin. Uh, the skin is dry. Uh, the hair is hair loss. So this is suggesting that there is a uh, vasculopathy involved and uh, also probably there is an underlying neuropathy. There are uh, there is a healed scar of an ulcer. Okay. It's important that we see the underside of the feet. There is no uh, uh, pressure source or dark discoloration there. You should also see the cardinal pokamo. Posterior aspect here also. So there, there are no uh, dilated veins apparent. It's important than the fish on the knee cam. It is important that the patient be examined also in standing position. What we intend to see is whether there are any baby post weights, any other eczema on the young. There is eczema in the rashes. Now on standing we see there is a baby post weight here. See, so this would have been missed if the patient was sitting. Here you can see an incompetent perforator. Also observe the gaze. Come back to the single parents. How the Joey and then Nana was a first person in the public. Sir, I actually in the book. Do you direct the car? No, I don't know. 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 Uh, what is the end of the day? Sir, I am going to go to the hospital. I am going to go to I am going to go to the I so first thing on observation the first thing that uh, in, after inspection uh, we find that there is a 
okay there is on uh, there is a darkening of the toe there are no other deformities there is a huge scar here there is dark discoloration of the foot uh, there is slight swelling of the left uh, ankle joint there is dry skin there is hair loss so these are all features of neuropathy and uh, it's important that we just, uh, look be between the toes to see if there is any gang this might be a, this history of uh, injury with a uh, mud pot but uh, later we'll have to see where it is then uh, there is nothing no intertrigo uh, the there is no clot only uh, okay i mean the first thing has to be done is look for the temperature on palpation the left foot appears to be slightly warmer suggesting that there is a underlying infection there after uh, doing, after the palpating for the temperature uh, try to feel for the pulses the dorsalis pedis and the uh, posterior tibial arteries the dorsal pedis is felt between the great uh, uh, toe the first and second metatarsal and the uh, posterior tibial artery is found between the uh, media the medial malleolus and the tendo achilles region it is just posterior to the uh, medial malleolus due to edema probably i am not able to palpate or feel the pulses both the pulses are uh, not palpable Uh, so it seems to be that from the clinical examination that the vascularity is compromised <coughs> we'll also search the next other pulse <coughs> looking for the feeling for the pulse probably due to edema it's not very evident i'm unable to feel both pulses okay this uh, darkness might also be a differential diagnosis could be post inflammatory because of infection post inflammatory changes now uh, this is the this is just a uh, evaluation now after going for a neuropathic evaluation now the three things that have to be seen is the uh, the touch sensation the uh, vibratory sensation and the uh, proprioception uh, to find the touch sensation we use the patient we will be using the the uh, 10 gram monofilament the 10 gram monofilament uh, <coughs> is the the areas where the uh, where have to be examined uh, there on the card and we ask the patient to forward kedakam kannu are kedakam sir the uh, just adequate pressure has to be applied so that and the whole process should be only last for maximum of 2 seconds the process from which we touch the uh, toe and then come back the whole process should last only 1 to 2 seconds maximum the pressure applied should be just enough to uh, buckle the monofilament Yes, or what are you doing? Yes. 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 Good. Yes. No, no. Yes. so we can see that the for great toe the below the great the first metatarsal the third metatarsal and fifth metatarsal have sensation the instep had sensation but the heel doesn't seem to have any sensation so there is a neuropathic characteristic of neuropathy i mean thoda ma parane yeah 
Yes. 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 So he doesn't seem to have uh, much sensation at the heel. Probably that is also because of the hardness and callosity. But uh, there is no callosity out here. It is important that we do not uh, touch the callous areas or hard areas so that uh, the, the sensation might be impaired even in normal people. So he, he has lack of sensation here in the uh, heel areas while at So that shows that he has a, a, a loss of touch sensation. The next uh, thing that we do is the proprioception. The Kanna and the two, and if we very left, Molde Kano, Tare Kan on the Parana, Tala Vella Molde Kumatu, Tarud Matu, in the Parana, other Molde Kan on the table, Tarud. Okay, Kan the Chodu. So we are testing for the vibration sense. It has to be tried out on the prominent areas. So when it stops vibrating, both of us should feel the same way. Sir, can I so he is not uh, feeling the vibration. This is the 128 uh, uh, hertz uh, uh, tuning fork. He is unable to feel the vibratory uh, sense on the metatarsal regions. Bony problems. Completely, there's severe impairment. The first uh, uh, sensation to be lost in diabetic peripheral neuropathy is a vibration sense. So he has no feeling of vibration over using a tuning fork. <coughs> so, according to the uh, thing, uh, neuropathy, he has loss of vibration sense, he has sense of proprioception, and this touch sensation is impaired in the uh, bilateral heel areas. But uh, now we come to the assessment with uh, now this uh, loss of see, uh, the dorsalis pedis palpation uh, might not be the best way to assess his vascularity. Uh, On the right side, you can see this more <coughs> yellow. On the left side, there is more. Posterior table is biphasic here. The anterior table is monophasic. The dorsal is absent. Thank you. 
The Harris mat shows left great toe, third and fourth toe high pressure, right great toe, third and fourth toe high pressure. TCPO2 is used to assess the microcirculation of the skin.